Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I've just come back from another street photography session and this time I went to the very picturesque city of Lincoln and I specifically went there because of the Christmas markets that they have on at this time of year and they're quite well known throughout the UK of having a really nice Christmas market on and the reason I wanted to go was because events like this usually have a lot of interesting people, a lot of stuff going on and usually there's some really good um, photographs to be taken. Now, when I went there, I decided not to take my DSLR or any of my film cameras. And instead, I again took along my trusty iPhone 7 Plus. And the next part or the next bit of this film was completely shot all on the iPhone. All the photographs, everything um, all came out of the iPhone. And instead of using the built-in app, that's already in the phone, um, you know, the normal camera app, I decided to use Lightroom Mobile. And I've been using Lightroom Mobile for ages now, just because the images you get are much better because they're um, uncompressed DNG files. They're not just the compressed JPEGs that you get out of the um, camera app. So you can do a lot more with them within the app, um, editing post-production wise. And you, in my opinion, you just get cleaner, nicer images because the compressed JPEGs that you get out of the normal app, um, out of the normal um, camera app on the phone, um, it kind of smooths them out a little bit um, and kind of adds noise reduction and stuff like that and it kind of just makes the images not look as sharp and as crisp. So um, I shot everything in Lightroom Mobile and then edited it in some other programs that I have on my phone as well, which I'm going to talk about in a video coming out after this current one because it just made this video far too long if I went into um, all the detail about the different apps and how I edit my photos. So, uh, without any further ado, we'll kind of just jump straight into this next bit of the video and um, I'll see you at the end.
Well, I hope you all enjoyed that short little um, film of my trip to Lincoln and enjoyed the photographs that I took. Please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Is there any other cameras you'd like me to use or any different places you'd like me to go to to do these kind of like street photography sessions? I just wanted to show everyone um, watching that you can get really cool images just with the phone that's in your pocket. If you go out and find interesting compositions and and go to interesting events and stuff like that, you know, don't let the fact that you don't have a, um, you know, big expensive DSLR or any other kind of camera, like a mirrorless camera or anything like that, kind of put you off, so to speak. So, you know, that's kind of why I went and just took my iPhone, just to show that you can get really cool, interesting images that, again, will print pretty big, because I have printed some of these images off, and I'll probably show you some of them in the next video. So that's kind of been the theme of this video, just showing that you can get really good images, even with a smartphone in your pocket. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Um, please like, share, all the usual stuff. Please hit the uh, bell notification so you know when I release um, another video, which hopefully I'm going to be getting out a few more than I have been doing at the moment, because I have been a bit slack in getting these videos out. I do apologise. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.